Albie, Auburn's costume tiger mascot, is in his 29th season as spirit leader and goodwill ambassador for Auburn University. Albie is a favorite for tiger fans, both young and old. On the job since 1979, Albie's existence began as a cartoon character drawn by Birmingham Post Herald artist Phil Neal in 1959 for the October 3rd football program. Albie's first live football debut came in the opening game of the 1979 football season at Jordan Hare Stadium against the Kansas State Wildcats. Albie has won a record six mascot national championships, more than any other mascot in the United States. Albie was among the first three college mascots inducted into the Mascot Hall of Fame, inducted on August 15, 2006. War Eagle. The story of War Eagle dates all the way back to 1892 when Auburn and Georgia first met on the football field. In the stands that day was an old Civil War soldier with an eagle that he had found injured on a battlefield and kept as a pet. The eagle broke free and began to soar over the field as the crowd began to chant War Eagle. At the game's end, the eagle took a sudden dive, crashed into the ground, and died. But the battle cry of War Eagle lived on to become a symbol of the proud Auburn spirit. The Tiger Walk is an Auburn tradition which began in the early 1960s when Auburn players would walk from Sewell Hall to the football stadium and fans would line Donahue Drive to wish them well. Over the years, the Tiger Walk has grown into a major part of game day at Auburn, so much so that it is listed on the players' game weekend itinerary. The largest Tiger Walk is believed to have taken place prior to the 1989 Alabama game when more than 20,000 well-wishers lined the street. Every Tiger Walk prior to home games draws thousands of fans, and over the past couple of years, the Tiger Walk has become a standard as Auburn football players and coaches enter the stadium on the road. The Tiger Walk is two hours before kickoff for every game. Hammer's Corner is located in the center of town where the Auburn University campus meets the city of Auburn. It's where College Street intersects Magnolia Avenue and has long been the gathering place for Auburn athletic celebrations. After any football win and significant victories in other sports, Auburn students and citizens alike join forces to roll the trees at Tumor's Corner with toilet tissue. Celebrations after significant football victories can go on for hours and leave the heart of town looking like a blizzard pass through. The Iron Bowl is the annual football game played between the Auburn University Tigers and the University of Alabama Crimson Tide. It was first played on February 22, 1893. Auburn won 32-22 before an estimated crowd of 2,000. Because of discord and controversy between the two teams, the series was disbanded and not resumed until 1948. Beginning in 1948, the games were played in Birmingham because it had the largest stadium in the state, 44,000 seat Legion Field and the tickets would be split evenly between the two schools. By 1980, the series had come to be called the Iron Bowl due to Birmingham's prominence as a center of iron and steel production. On December 2, 1989, Alabama came to Auburn for the first time in the history of the rivalry. A sellout crowd will witness Auburn win its first true home game of the series, 30-20, over an Alabama team that entered the game unbeaten and ranked number two in the country. The teams would continue to play every year with Auburn hosting the game on odd numbered years. From 2001 to 2007, Auburn had a six year winning streak, but they were defeated in 2008, 36-0. Auburn will look for revenge on November 27th when they host Alabama for the greatest rivalry in college football. See you there, Tiger fans.